Hello, everybody. It's Agnes, and I have got Quana back with me. Hello, Quana. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, Kwana has been interviewed by me a couple of times. I will put the links down to her two interviews that we've done on different bits and pieces over the last few years. But today we are going to be doing a creative brainstorming session. Kwana is an artist. She will tell you more about what she does in a minute but we're going to go through and nut out the mechanics of helping her set up, fine tune, organize and start and get the YouTube channel going for what she is artistic in. So I'm going to hand it over to you. <laughs> Thank you, Agnes. Well, everyone, I am a musician and a singer and songwriter. That is my calling and it's, uh, it's my life. Yeah. I've, Started singing as a kid and became professional within the last, really professional in the last 10 years. But it's been a un gradual unfolding of decades of practice and working on it, et cetera. So I've, I live in Denver, Colorado, and I've been in various bands. I've had my own band. And so I have some experience under my belt in terms of stage time and uh, developing my myself as an as a musician and an artist and so <clears throat> for anyone who does understand what their calling is or what their 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 true calling type of work fulfilling work is doesn't necessarily make it any easier because as a musician I'm dealing with what with what is called the music industry mm. so <clears throat> but I feel what's so great about YouTube and the purpose of this today is to get the focus for us to not only use such an incredible medium as YouTube, but the fact that YouTube, it may have its flaws, but YouTube gives uh, people the power to create whatever they want. We can be, we can be creators. So yeah. um, I've been watching other people for years on YouTube, including Agnes, develop her channel and develop their channels other musicians, other, of every type of, you know, every type of subject on YouTube, obviously, and mine won't fall under entertainment. Yeah. So I just, I decided to um, kick myself in the butt and uh, get this going, even though it's taken a few months and Agnes a few months ago, so generously <laughs> and kindly offered to help me. Yeah. So you, my friend. My pleasure. My pleasure. We knew that I needed to take that opportunity, even though it took us a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> and I can tell you people that um, this is really can gives you your energy back. So whatever you're losing on worrying about a specific person or just dealing with life, paying bills and all that stuff. Yeah. gets your energy back by in taking steps, just like Agnes said in her recent video about taking those small steps she, for her. She spent an hour or two on the weekends, right? Yeah. And researching what she could do next to take things to the next level. So whatever works for you, but, but do it, take those steps, even though it's a small step and you might be scared, just do it. So that's why I wanted to do this video live today. So others can be inspired. Yes. Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I know a little, I'm technical to some extent, but I don't totally understand the YouTube world yet, but I do know that I can play music. Yeah, and you know what, Quana? You don't have to be 18 to be able to use YouTube. That's the thing. I was 48, I think, when I started, and I remember thinking, oh, I'm too old. What are you doing? And I thought, too old for what? You know, I, I can learn stuff at 18. I can learn things at 28. I can learn other things at 38 and 48. It's just other skills. So I stopped saying I'm too old and I can't do this. That was the first thing I had. And I had to let go of creative people don't make money. Yes. That was the other thing I had to let go of. So, <laughs> which we've talked about before. So, okay. What we'll do is you tell me where you're at. And you tell me what you want to start with. Well, let's go from there. Okay. Well, I do have a, you know, a YouTube channel, but there's nothing yep. on 
I mean, it's nothing. It's not set up for anything. Yep. So I want to turn that into a creator channel. And the stumbling block, because I do like to do research and I'm good at it. Yeah. On YouTube, there's steps, but it's a bit convoluted to me. Anyone who, if I'm smart, and if I reach a stumbling block that I can't seem to get past, this a problem. So I'm not sure what's going on with you two when you go through their steps. Okay. Some stumbling blocks, and and so I told Agnes about that, and that's when she offered to help me. Yeah. Um, you can listen to other YouTubes, but I think a, a kind of a one-on-one -on -one is so helpful. Yeah. This. So, so my goal is to uh, turn my intention uh, is to turn my nothing channel into a real creator channel where I start posting um, performances. Okay. Have you got have you got the skeleton set up? Like you've got the channel, you've got your name. So you've yeah. got the basic skeleton. You've gone in under one email address. Yes. Um, Okay, good. And it's important to every time you sign into your YouTube, you always, always use the same email address. Because if you don't, it sets up a whole new channel and then you got two channels and you didn't want two channels. So always yeah. remember to be clear that because I made that mistake, I signed in under something else and then I went, how come I've got two channels? What have I done? You know, so right. yeah, that's, a, that's easy to screw that up. So, how, okay, how many YouTubes have you got up so far? nothing i mean it just there's no official i mean there's nothing there, there's one a test video i did a few weeks ago and i just wanted to see how it worked to do a video in the you in youtube yeah you no know, you know? yeah uh, um so j nothing nothing performance wise i do have to getting back to the youtube uh username and all that i do have two different profiles though okay Juana ramira and then i have a uh, my old stage name q diva okay the q diva one i'm i i do not want it doesn't it doesn't pop into that my stuff seems to just pop right into Juana ramira all the time i think the whole google google knows your name and related to your email so uh, i don't think there's a, there's a problem there so okay the q diva ramira is the page that Quana, I want to for this. Quana Ramira. Okay. I'm just, I'm just having a quick look, see if I can find you. When I put your name up, I can't actually see you apart from the interviews you and I have done together. Well, when I... Oh, when I, Q Diva. Here we go. Yeah. So Q Diva, that's not... I mean, there's some old performance videos, but that... I, that's not that, the right one. No. Okay. And when I, when I, so when I... The, the profile that I use to leave comments on your page and that kind of a thing yeah that's the page that I, that's it that's the one i want to turn into a, a creator channel do i have to can i do it like that can i create yeah yeah so yeah you know, comments on your page and that kind of a thing that's the one okay so <laughs> i'm just trying to find you i've put in Quana ramira into youtube and the one that comes up is the Q Diva. So I'm just having a look. Interesting. Mm. Um, no, it's coming up with other people that I don't, definitely isn't you. Um, um, I'm, okay, so we're going to go into looking at Kwana's YouTube channel, see what she's got already up. Oh, so awesome. I'm going to screen share. I'm going to screen share her channel so we can see it. So, Quana, can you can you see can you see your channel there? I can. Don't judge me, people. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is uh, this is purely look. This is where we all start. This is where we all start. We have no content. We've just got the skeleton up. I mean, at least you've got the skeleton up. You've got a photo of yourself. You've got your name up, and you've got six subscribers already on there. Six subscribers. Yeah. There's your playlist, Agnes. You see it? <laughs> yeah, I hadn't seen it, but yeah, I can see it now. <laughs> so now when you go into YouTube, what you do, you've what you do is you record your actual video. You can do that on your phone, you can do it on your iPad, doesn't matter how. These days, I did the first, I think, 150 YouTubes, maybe even 200 on my iPhone 4. Okay. So 
The only thing you got to remember is when you do it, do it with a phone, don't do it like that. You got to do it like that. Otherwise you end up with these two black bands because a few times I've forgotten and you end up with these two black bands down the side when you upload. Okay. So the wide screen. vertical always go vertical, um, horizontal, not vertical. Yeah. yeah right. So now my little arrow, see this little, um, can you see where my little hand is on the screen? Yep. Okay. So what you do is you click on the video camera and then it says upload video. So you click on that and then it brings up this page. And what you do is I'm going to show you, I'll, I'll, I've already uploaded Martina's interview. So I'll show you on my desktop up the top here. I've got just a video that I did and I just drag it and you literally just drop it. That's it. And then what happens is it starts loading and you can see at the top, it says upload 2%, upload 3%. So it just loads. Obviously with music, it's going to be at least three to five minutes. If you're doing, you know, more than a couple of songs cause you're at a performance for the night, you know, it might be a half hour to an hour's performance, however long it is. So you just let it load. And then on the side here, it says publish. You hit publish when it's done. And then you put your description in. I'm going to put this on private because I don't want it to go to my channel because Martina has just been uploaded already today. Now, see the description box here, Quana, where I've highlighted the blue? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if this was um, a YouTube, say it wasn't Martina's interview, say it was an actual performance of yours. I mean, this is actually, this has actually opened up my YouTube channel because it won't let me drop YouTube's or videos into your channel. Obviously only you can do that. So what you do is for the description, you put in a title, obviously what it is. So, uh, you know, Quana Ramira performs at such and such a venue, or it might be the title of the song, or it might say, you know, guitar and voice, whatever you think is relevant, try and put some key words into the title box. Now, okay. the way you can find really good titles, if you're not sure, is you go up to the Google search and give me an example of, are you doing originals or are you doing covers or what kind of music are you doing? We're probably going to do a combination of, of both. Okay. So let's start with a cover because covers mean somebody else would have done it. And I'm going to show you how to look up keywords. So give me a song that you've sung before as a cover. Ain't no sunshine. Okay. So if I put in ain't no sunshine. Now see when I don't finish typing the word sunshine, these are all the, these are all the key sentences that people come up looking for. Ain't um, no sunshine, ain't no sunshine cover, ain't no sunshine remix, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Obviously the full name of the song, karaoke, lyrics, guitar, dance. So what happens is you go, okay, I'm going to select ain't no sunshine. I'm going to put that in the box. Ain't no sunshine. And then I'm going to put covers. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm going to choose because I know people already search for that. That mm -hmm. whole drop down shows you what the most search terms are for that particular mm -hmm. song. Okay. okay. So you don't have to try and pick things out of your head. You go, okay, what are people searching on YouTube for? And you literally put the first sort of three words or the first two words to see what comes up until you kind of refine it. You go, ah, that's the thing I'm talking about. So you look at all the combinations. Okay. So I understand. now what you do, I'm going to just delete all this stuff because that's all my crap. So, and obviously you make it look a bit better. You do it properly, spell it properly. Right. Ain't no. And maybe put it in capitals, sunshine covers, and you might put song. Now, then you write in the description what it is. So you go in 
let's do it a bit better in this YouTube Quana put your full name Ramira sings the well-known and you just write a bit of a blurb yeah. well -known song um, and you write by who was it originally by Bill Withers. Bill Withers. I forget how you spell Withers. R -T -R -T -R -T -R -T -R Withers. Withers, is that right? Yeah. Bill Withers. Bill Withers. W I T H E R. Yeah. Yes. Bill Withers. Okay. Um, Bill Withers' original song. So I always find whatever I'm doing, like you and I will, like me, I'm reading Neville stuff or whatever. I always give credit in the description and also if I can with singing, you might even be able to do that too. Hi, I'm singing Bill Withers song, Ain't No Sunshine. So you always give credit to the original person out of respect, of course. Correct. Original song. You might even write this song was written in 19 da da da. Give the, you're good at research. So add in the, the little bit of background for people that don't know and would like to know. Okay. And then what you would do is you'd go, okay, I've written what I'm doing. I've written very clearly in the description what I'm doing in the video because sometimes you find with YouTubes, they put a title and then you click on the video and then they're talking and you go, you're not even talking about what I clicked on this video for. Oh, I hate that. And yeah. that's really irritating when you're, when you're a YouTube viewer. So you go, okay, I'm going to make a decision. Every description is going to totally represent what I'm doing and my title is going to totally say in one sentence concisely what you're going to see. Right. So then you don't piss people off. Right. Yeah. Very important. So then you might have, okay, Quana, Ramira, um, or no, let's even do it a little bit better to contact Quana Ramira. And then you might put, you know, your email address. We won't put it in now. Just so you put your email address, you might, um, have you got any kind of, um, Facebook or anything that your music's linked to that you would want people to know about through another social media platform? Um, you, uh, not yeah, only sort of, I got a, uh, Facebook pa music page. Okay. So you would go Facebook music page. And then you would put a live link. Okay. Okay. So you would actually go to Facebook. You'd go up to the top bar of, um, yeah, this has kicked me out now because obviously it says it's a duplicate video because it was Martino I was loading up. So what you do is you would go and you'd highlight the Facebook link at the very top bar. You know, when you're going to Facebook, you highlight that and you literally copy and paste it and you stick it into the description. So it's a live link. So when right. people go to look at your description, they don't have to copy and paste it. They click on it. It takes them straight to your Facebook. Got it. Yeah. So here you've also got the option. I, when you click on that little video camera, you and I chose upload video. You can also do go live, which for music would be really good. You yeah. can actually sit in your green dress this afternoon and start doing a live feed if you wanted to, when you're ready. You don't obviously have to do that, you know, in, until you feel confident to do it because it might freak you out. And you literally just put your, your device there. At least with singing, you can stand still. You know, you're not moving around. You get the frame right and you go live and then people can enjoy your music real time. So that's an option. Like I've done YouTube lives. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that straight away because it used to freak me out. But in the, in the beginning I went, no, 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 I don't want, I don't want to be, you know, just like, so if I make a mistake and I screw something up, I, I've got to be able to edit it or delete it or something. So, but that's an option for later. You go, okay, when I feel comfortable, the good thing is Kwana, you're used to performing. Yeah. So that's going to freak you out a lot less than someone who probably paints paintings or does, you know, websites. So right. that's going to be in your favor. So 
that's the basic of, of everything. I mean, if we put in, because you and I were just talking about Michael Jackson, if you put in Michael Jackson and say you're going to sing one of his covers, you can see the top search thing for Michael Jackson mm -hmm. is Thriller. Mm -hmm. And you see all the other ones, Billie Jean, wow. Michael Jackson songs, etc., etc. So all you got to do is put in a couple of key words and it will give you the top searches for that particular artist. Mm -hmm. So this is how you collect all your key words, you see. Mm -hmm. Now... Okay. Let me just go back. We'll pretend that we're going to upload something again. Let me try and drop Martina in again so it opens up the thing so we can see it. So now what we do too is see, see all in here, this box here. These are all the words that I put in when I do a YouTube. These are all the, when I was telling you about keywords, this is where you put them in. So if anybody comes to YouTube and they put in my name, my channel will pop up. If they put in law of attraction, my channel will pop up. Neville Goddard, self love. These are just ones that I put in into every single YouTube. So let's have a look. If we were doing yours, we would do, see you've got uh, 500 characters there. So it's quite a lot. So we would definitely put Quana. Then we would put Quana Ramira, obviously the first two. Mm. Then we would put music. Mm. Then we would put um, live music. Mm. Then we would put um, what what genres of music do you sing? Like soul or R and B or and you can put in put in lots. It doesn't have to be just one. Yeah, soul, pop, rock. Okay, soul. So then you could put soul, then you put soul music, then you put in pop, then you put in pop music, then you put wow. in R and B. Mm -hmm. So see, you just literally fill it up with things that are relevant to mm. what you're doing. So anything that you think someone would search you under that's relevant, then you could put in um, singing. Um, you could put in, uh, do you sing on your own or is it duets? I sing on my own. Sometimes uh, Michael sings along sings a little with bit. You. Okay. So what you could do then is um, Quana and Michael. Okay. Yeah, and then you and then you'd put Michael's name and Michael's surname because he's actually on. Say we're doing uh, uploading a duet one. You go okay. There's two of us, so then you could put in things like. Because what you do is you put in specific things to you, and then you put in umbrella things to like the music industry. So, mm. um. What kind of keywords do you think would fit in for, for more? Because see, with mine, I do Law of Attraction. There's the umbrella. Mm. I, do, I do Neville Goddard. That's the umbrella. I do Meditation. That's the umbrella. And then I do Guided Meditations for Self-Love, mm. Guided yeah. Meditations for Specific Person. So you do the, the umbrella and then you do the more little, more specific. You get more and more specific, you see. Yeah. So I what you mean. What's fascinating. I know it's so interesting. There's so much more to this than people know, but it, I love it. It's so when you get start to really get tight with the behind the scenes and literally once you've done your video, you drop it into YouTube. It might take uh, 15 minutes to do the title, the description, the keywords. Then you set it on over here. You set it on public and then you just hit publish. So, you know, because the thing is you do the same thing over and over and over and over. Like eventually you just get really fast at it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so you've got 500 characters here of keywords. The other thing you can do is, is you can go to, okay, let me see if I put in the word music. Okay, that's something else you could do. You see how it's got music 2018, mm -hmm. music 2019. Mm -hmm. um, music for studying, music 
sounds better with you. So you go, okay, well, that's not really relevant, but music 2019 would be relevant. So you go, okay, let me put in music 2019. Mm. And then when it's 2020, you put music 2020. So it's just one of your keywords for that year. I see. Yeah. So, pretty with that too. Yeah. Yeah, you can. And, and it really is every time you just go up to this box. Um, okay. Let's put in soul music and see what pops up. Soul music, 70s, soul music, 90s love songs, mix. So you can actually branch out from your soul music umbrella and then tighten it up with more specific things like soul music, 70s, if it's a 70s song or soul music, 80s, soul music, you know, mention the particular artist if it's not one of your songs. And you literally just keep trying to use up if you can in the beginning, I used to put three keywords. I didn't even realize that it was important. Now I fill up the 500 characters if I can, because mm -hmm. it's really important. This is how everybody finds you. And that in time is one of the most important things because that's how everybody finds your music and your name over time will start to be what people search for because your music is you. So like me, my YouTube channel, one of my key search words that's, that, that rates quite high now is my name. In the beginning, no one knew who the heck I was. So I put in on yes, it was, uh, it was, who cares? No one knows me. But as the years go by, as you're consistent with uploading, you know, if you say to, my, to yourself, okay, I'm going to do one YouTube a week on my own or I'll do, and I'll do one YouTube a week with me and Michael. So we'll do one together, one on my own, and we will continue to stick to that, you know, mm. or you do one a week, whatever schedule you think will fit in with whatever work you've got to do still now you try and, and, and you don't have to be like, some people say, Oh, you know, I do every, I do uploads every Monday. Mm. I'm not that regimented. If I'm not in the mood on Monday, I'll do it on Tuesday or Wednesday. And other, some other days I'm on a roll and I'll upload three in one day. Cause I go, Oh, this is good. And this is good. And this is good. You know? So exactly. yeah, you go yeah. with the creative flow of it. So exactly. exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's just literally you fill in the title, you fill in the description, you fill in the keywords, your keywords, you get YouTube to tell you what good keywords are. So you're using, you know, you literally just go, I, I know I can come up with five keywords. I know it's music. I know it's my name. I know it's um, pop and I know that it's um, singing and I know that I can put in music 2019. I'm going to start with those five. After that, then I'll go back and put those words back into that bar up the top where I just put soul music. Let me put in soul music 70s. So if I put in soul music 70s, I'll go down another layer. Then we got soul music 70s love songs, playlist, mm -hmm. videos. So yes. then you go, oh yeah, that's so obvious. Why didn't I think of that? But that's the thing. The keywords you go, oh, that was so obvious. I can't believe I didn't think of it. But that's the thing. Yeah. We mm -hmm. always forget at least three or four super obvious ones you see. Yes, yes, yes. So, so amazing. I, I know. That. It's so, in and it's really quite simple. Like I'm not, you know, I I'm not really savvy with techie stuff. But this stuff makes sense. It's not too hard. It's just you got three boxes and you're working with those three boxes all the time. And that's it. So you really maximize what you especially put in the keywords, description, how people can find you because as you post more, people will want to contact you. So yeah. Now the other thing is, let me go back and I'll try and upload something again so I can show you now in see how it's got basic info underlined with the red here. Yes. Now, if yeah. you hop over to the third box, it says monetization. So what uh, you do is you upload your video. Let me just set this on private so it doesn't go to the channel. Um, yeah, you go to monetization and see how there's this little blue thing here? Yeah. You can literally, that's what it should look like. 
mine's mine's just set that it it does it automatically now but when you go to upload it'll be switched off in gray okay what you do is you literally you turn it on if you want to start earning some revenue from google but youtube has started this new thing in 2018 that you need 4,000 views across your channel and 1,000 subscribers now before they pay you any money. Yes, I read that. Yes. Yeah, before, up until last year, they used to do it straight away. Mm. So, no, not anymore. So, yeah, so, and, and YouTube sometimes can be a little bit slow. I mean, my meditation channel has got three and a half thousand um, subscribers and they still haven't clicked over the monetization. So you just have to wait until they do it. Like you, you can email them and, but they often, you know, sometimes they reply, sometimes they don't. I emailed them about six months ago and I'm still waiting. So yeah. because sometimes they have a backlog and I heard they were clearing out a lot of the old dead channels where people hadn't uploaded for a long time. So they were doing a big clean out and then you know, that way they weren't posting out also $10 checks to people or, you know, for people that hadn't uploaded anything for like two years, they were mm -hmm. getting rid of all that. So, but the thing is, that's something you can aim for once you get your thousands um, subscribers and you get your 4,000 views that you switch that on. I personally don't like to put many ads on my channel because I don't want to annoy my viewers. I put the five second click off one and then that's it i don't have any ads in the middle any ads at the end any pop-up ads any banner ads all those ads i pop over everywhere i picked one and that's it and that way it creates and generates some income but it doesn't annoy the viewers too much because people can click off after five seconds and you know then they're then they can watch you so that's okay. something you can do at a later date so yeah, so that's the basics of really setting it up properly. And I mean, the good thing is with you doing music, you're going to be extremely good at audio. You're going to know how all that works. So whatever you upload is going to, is going to have good audio. So that too is, you know, really important. You already know how to do that. And you'll be able to start recording and literally... You can, you can record from your phone and then drag and drop it on your phone to the, uh, to the YouTube app. Like if you want to just do it from a little device or you can do it on the iPad. You've got those two devices. I didn't even have an iPad or a laptop, Quana, for the first three years. All I had was a phone and I thought yeah. I'm, not, I'm not going into debt for anything. I'll use what I've got. And then when I got money, I bought an iPad, a little iPad mini, and then I only got my laptop less than a year ago. So you know, it's like you just sort of grow with it and it'll, it'll, it'll reward you in time. It just rewards you in time. Mm, that's, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So that's, that's really, you know, just title the, you know, description and the keywords. If you focus on getting those really, really, really tight, you will start to get people that search specifically for that music, specifically for that genre, and you will start to pop up eventually in the searches if you're consistent with content. Okay. Hmm. So I hope that explains it. Have you got any questions? I do. Go ahead. Okay. So the first question I have is, <clears throat> do you recommend just starting simple and just go ahead and start creating some videos and set that up with the tags like you were showing. Yeah. Yeah. And I do start from there. I think you go. Okay. The good thing with you is your content. You already know a lot of songs, obviously if you're a singer. Mm -hmm. So your content, I would sit down and go, okay, I'm going to draft up a very, basic content. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, work out the first 12 YouTubes I'm going to do half okay. a, a dozen YouTubes or half a dozen. And you go, okay, I'm going to do this song on my own. I'm going to do this song with Michael. So I'll have one by myself, one with him. We're going to do some soul, some pop, some R and B, 
So you break it into categories, two R&B, two pop, two this, two. So you go, okay, I've got a bit of everything that I cover now. And then you start the recording and you make sure, okay, I'm going to do it in my living room, you know, whatever. Try and do your, your videoing, obviously, during the day when your lighting's better to start off. Mm -hmm. um, and you go, okay, I might play outside in the backyard. I might do it, you know, on a beautiful sunny day with all the windows open and, you know, it just feels fresh and good and I'm just going to enjoy, you know, however you want to do it because music is so much about mood. So if you set the mood as best you can in your environment, then you put you in the mood and then that, you know, makes it easier for you to perform. So you go, and you know what? If you screw it up, who cares? You delete and you start again. Editing is a, an incredibly difficult job, I think. I started doing it. I don't edit anything. I'd rather reshoot than edit. But that's, no. just, that's just me because okay. I didn't want to have to learn another whole thing when I was learning. I thought, oh, my God, I'm, I, I'm freaking out just learning YouTube. I don't want to have to learn how to do editing on top of it. I like to tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, and, and, that, and to this day, I never edit anything. I just literally reshoot. And you know, I'm sometimes I make a mistake or I pronounce a word wrong. It's not the end of the world. Who cares? I just keep moving. So, you know, it's, it's, that's, it's not about perfection. Obviously with singing, if you screw it up, you can't just keep going. You probably need to reshoot it because especially if it's a cover and people know the words, you probably need to reshoot, but you know, you just go, well, that's okay. Well, I'm, the thing, my goal initially as we're starting is to uh, bring uh, as real and natural performance as possible. Yeah. I'm not, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube over the years and anything from all this slick stuff, whatever, whatever subjects. Yeah. To the most simple. And, you know, right now, Michael and I, we don't have a budget for all of that. No. Nope. I think people are very much drawn to um, approachable, real. Yep. And yep. That's one of the biggest things that drew me to you. Yeah. Very natural. You don't care about trying to. You're just you, and that makes it so appealing. Uh, your 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 work, even though I, you can tell that some of your camera equipment maybe has changed or you've up up leveled. Yeah. You're still very natural. So just just very very simple. So yeah. Simple because the content of uh, the power of our performance that's going to speak volumes. Yeah. That's, all, that's all we need. We don't need to yeah. only compare it to all these other pages. So that's why I want to ask you. Yeah. Instead of getting, well, should I do this? Should I have that? I, I don't feel like that's necessary. No, I mean you'd have your your guitars, you'd have your microphones anyway. Um, right. As long as you've got an iPad or a phone, you've got enough to record. Um, you know, and then you, you record, you do a test, you go, let's record one minute of singing and then let's play it back on the device to see if it sounds okay. And then that's it. I didn't even adjust. It's only on the laptop now that I'm adjusting the levels for YouTube. I mean, I've had people complain about my audio, say it's too soft, I can't hear it. You know, and then I started using the Apple headphones so that they would, you know, hear it better. I'm still using Apple headphones. I don't use a proper lapel mic. I'm, you know, I'm just not that fancy. You know, I've got, I've bought a lapel mic about a year ago. I still haven't worked out how to get it to talk to the, to the laptop. So that's another job when I have, so it's just those things you go, okay, you know, we're not on, um, you know, some glossy TV show. This is YouTube and yep, I'm going to get better over time. But like you say, it's got to be real. I agree. And Michael and I are both experienced musicians. So we have that part under our belt. We know how yeah. to Form, we know how to we got that yeah and, and what you said earlier about the live feed thing we've done some live feeds on Facebook before and it was so funny a couple years ago there was one time we were doing a live feed and Michael got all freaked out I'm like honey we're recording yeah <laughs> yeah but, yeah uh, we can handle that because I want to do some live feeds too yeah uh, and I and keep them um I, I think keeping them short, keep the video short at first. Yeah. Because, because there's the, because the here brings me to my next question. Yep. 
I don't want these unless it's unless we when we get to the point of maybe doing a, a short performance that's like a longer type of performance or something like that. For now, I want to start with just short, quick. Yep. One song, here, one song there, because is it? Because I've heard some creators talk about I only have twenty minutes or I have eleven minutes. I mean, does it? Do you have different times until you get a certain amount of subscribers that you can? I don't yeah. know. I think in the beginning, I mean, in the beginning, I had an iPhone 4 that had such crap storage. I could only record three minute to four minute YouTubes and it would say storage full. So, oh, okay, so that's a fact. <laughs> but I didn't realize that was actually a good thing because when no one knows you, they're not going to listen to you for an hour. So, but no. they will listen to you for three minutes. Yeah. You know, so you go, okay, I think in the first year of YouTubing, if you can do under five minute things until you kind of get a thousand subscribers, then you can keep people's attention for longer. Agreed. And how long's the average song, Quana? Three to five minutes. So perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Start with yeah. With start with that. And also I think to get used to YouTubing, don't do any live feeds, do the ones that you pre-record. That way, if you screw it up, you go, oh my God, that didn't work. Let's delete and start again. Mm -hmm. So you've got that, that gives you a bit of relief. Yes. And I like that better than trying to edit because I'm not, I, maybe down the line, you know, but for now, we're not doing all that editing. Uh, well, and also someone that does editing on her YouTube channel said to me for every five minutes of YouTube, it used to take me an hour's worth of editing. And I went, Oh my God, no thanks. I'd rather, I can reshoot in five minutes rather than do an hour of editing. Yeah. So it just yeah. seemed better use of my time. I agree. So the next question I have is when you were talking about the, the tagging. Yes. Um, like for example, when, for the, um, Bill Withers song for, for an example. Yeah. You, you said, you know, like having my name and then soul seventies. Yeah. Um, Bill Withers and then like the umbrella and then getting more specific. Yep. Like Michael's name, or I was thinking musical duo. Yes. Um, I could even put diva on there, even though I don't really like the term diva, but I, but it's. Still it's a music a, term. Yeah. It's a music term. It's a term people look up. Yep. Yep. Um, and now I've in the study, some of the research I've done on other people's website of videos, YouTube channels who are talking about how to generate, um, you know, people to your page. Do you think that that's not very important at first? Do you think that because, because there's, there could be a lot of adrenaline. Oh, I got to get people, you know, mm. coming to my page. Yeah. But do you think it's better to just start simple and build it or do you think there's other ways to try to because i don't like trying to you know what i mean do you see what i'm trying to ask yeah yeah i think because i get i get people emailing me all the time saying oh you know how do i get more subscribers on my channel or how do i get more likes on my facebook and all this stuff it's like well that whole question is is how do i get right. now this whole subject is no different to a relationship how do I get doesn't work in a relationship and how do I get doesn't work in a YouTube channel or with, I think businesses in 2019. Okay. That's very old school, the get mentality. Yeah. And that's why I think marketing has such a hard time now, because if you're still trying to coax people by, you know, and, and I see this a lot on YouTube you know, subscribe to my channel, like my page, join my email list, join my Facebook. That's all about, I'm trying to get something from you. But if you do every YouTube from the place of how can I serve and how can I give, and you're not prompting anyone to do anything for you, I think it grows so much more easily because you are letting go of the little old me and you're just looking to share what you love. And I think that mm. you just receive. You just and do. Because you don't do that in your videos. It annoys no. me. Me too. It annoys me too. I hate it. Be sure to click like and subscribe and that button. Yeah. Down there. Everyone, 
I don't, I, don't tell and the thing, and the thing is, everybody already knows how to do all that on YouTube. They're not stupid. You don't need to tell them all that. Like, I, I just think, you know, I mean, I find you don't, some people, I have people I love on YouTube. I don't even subscribe to their channels because I just don't like getting a whole bunch of notifications. So when I want to look at you, I'll go to YouTube and I'll look at you. I know how to use YouTube as a viewer. So I trust that the people that watch YouTube, they will look and they will come if they're interested. Because you've got to give people something. And what we do for you, it's entertainment. For me, it's giving people relief. You just got to give to people and stop looking at what, I'm, what am I getting? What am I getting? And if you come from that angle for every single YouTube you do, yep. people will look in the description for your email address. Kwana, I get over 50 emails a day now. I don't even have an email list. I don't even email people. I've never emailed to say, hey, I've got a promotion on. If I've got something I'm selling, I'll just do one YouTube and then I move on. It's not, you can let people know, but you don't need to, well, and you also don't need to do that scare, scaring marketing. Oh, this is the last time that this is going to be offered at this price or this is the you know, last opportunity. There's already 10 people and there's, I'm only taking one more. People right. know that that is bullshit. It is they know it's very old fashioned trying to scare people into coming in to do whatever you want them to do. I think it's time to let all that go. Just give. And if you give people come, I mean, my email address is not on any YouTube. They got to go and hunt and find it in the description. I just know people will find it. People know how to use it. People like you, they'll Google you. They'll look you up. People have got basic skills around researching very basic things now. It's not rocket science. So, you know, you just go, right, whoever's meant to, to connect with me will connect with me. Whoever's meant to email me will email me. Whoever is going to love what I do, they will find me. So you believe that and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Well, Agnes, that's, that is brilliant because that is that that is exactly a, a, your, so everyone listening, it's a great role model to follow what, how Agnes has set up her channels. Cause when I watch your channels, I don't feel like, Oh, I got to click and I got to oh. feel I'm compelled to want to, to, uh, mm. and, yeah. and definitely what we're doing with the music is all about. Yeah. This is what we're here to give the music and, and yeah. We're here to give the music. And that's why I'm asking these questions about kind of just because I, I and you answered my um, intuition about it. Yeah. But just let's start simple. Yeah. I, we don't need to worry about content because yeah, we do. What we do. Yep. And what you've shown me how to set, how to because I thought there was reading the YouTube instructions on how to do this. <laughs> it seemed like I had to go and do this. I had to contact. Uh. I had to wait until they responded to me. It was just, what? Yeah. No. Very simple. Just yeah. Like, and definitely about the, how the tags. Yeah. Three, but you're, you're doing three boxes. That's it. That's it. And then okay. pub publish and off it goes. That's it. That's it. And so, well, well that makes so much sense. It's so much simpler. And then mm. also, the monetize. and also, so, because the other question I have is, when I've, I have YouTube premium now. Okay. I have commercials. I yep. pay $10 a month and it's worth it to me because I love YouTube so much. Yep. Everybody has that. And I was very, it used to anger me, those commercials, the ads. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very sensitive. I do not want to irritate people. Yep. But I also think it's okay for me to make, obviously great for, for me to make yep. money. Yeah. So what you said about, I mean, when I watch the rewatch our video, I'll see what you're saying and how to set that up. Yeah. And also, Kwana, you've got to hit a thousand subscribers. So don't even think about it until then. Just go, all my YouTubes are going to go up totally ad free until I hit a thousand subscribers. Cool. So okay. then you go, okay, then you can contact me again and then we'll talk about the next stage. But, okay. you know, yeah. then you go, that's, I don't ha that's a later problem. By then I'll be really good at knowing how to do the three boxes, uploading, Oh, I just want to give you one more tip. Okay. You know that little box that said private or public? 
Yes. Okay. When it's on public, as soon as it loads, it goes straight to YouTube. You might not be finished your description or your title or your tag words. Okay. So what I you see. do, what you do is you drag and drop it down into YouTube. And then the first thing you do is you go to that little box that says private or public. It's set on public straight away. Change it to private and then save that. So it gives you time to breathe, to okay. finish everything. Then you go back and switch it back onto public. Because I used to be like, oh my God, I've only got... <laughs> and someone said to me, why don't you just switch it over to private? I said, I didn't even think of that, you know? So yeah. I'd be trying to do it really fast because it'd be half finished and then it would be uploaded and I'm trying to finish it while it's already uploaded. I thought that was such an obvious suggestion, but I obviously didn't work that out on my own. So I'm sharing that with you. So you. give yourself the breather, you switch it on private, save that, then you've got as much time as you need. Okay, understood. And when I watch this again, I'll be able to I'll follow your instructions because this afternoon, Michael and I are going to do, we're going to do our first YouTube. Beautiful. So your suggestion is just focus on those three, getting, get those three box filled. Yeah. Really drop the video into. Yeah. Drag and drop, then switch it to public. And Correct. Save it. Huh, I'm so, getting this. Oh my God. I, know. It's a, but I think now you've seen it. You can see it's not as hard as it looks. It's just drag and drop three boxes, hit public, and it's done. Okay. So, and then you just literally just do your best with the keywords, do your best with the descriptions. But then you know what? Every time you do a YouTube, you can go back and look at the other YouTubes you did and go, oh, that's what I wrote in the description. Because sometimes I forget. I go, what did I write in that? So I go back and look at some YouTubes I did that were similar subject and I go, oh, that's right. I mentioned that. So I go, I drag, I get information off other YouTubes I've done that I've forgotten bits and pieces about. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. And another question I have, and I think I know the answer, but again, I've seen a lot of videos that really go into, you know, how to get people to your page and what to put as tags to get people. And I've seen some flagrant trying to, <laughs> stuff trying yep. to sometimes I fall for it I try not to now these days yeah you know what I mean like try I don't want to I want this to be like I was saying is authentic I mean Michael and yep. I you know, we are mature yeah experienced musicians who live in Denver Colorado we're not trying to be anything yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to put, you know, some body fame, some crap, because you know what I mean? Like I can, t I can just tell channels that are trying to get you to click on their thing. I know. That to me, that, that feels. Yeah. Like yeah. And it's not, you know, I just think I'm sure some people fall for that, but I think a lot of people don't these days. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And so just keep it. Yeah. Keep it simple. Follow, use the tags that you're talking about. Don't yeah. try to put something else that oh, I think might someone might be attracted to. Yeah. Like, like I know, I know some people like saying what I do. Some people put the secret as a tag word because the secret's so big in law of attraction circles. They go, oh, I'm a little YouTube channel. I'll put the word the secret and then I'll get some views. Well, the secret. That's not what you're doing. You're just piggybacking on the work they did. That's not really, you know, you're, you're trying that you've gone into, I'm trying to get mode just from putting tag words that aren't really, you're trying to piggyback off them. Exactly. So, you know, I think, well, you know, I'll put Neville Goddard in mind because I read Neville. I'll put meditation. I'll put guided meditation. I'll put specific person relationships, how to get an ex back, how to create your dream job, meaningful work, stuff like that will be my keywords if it's relevant to that YouTube, but I'm not going to piggyback on putting Wayne Dyer in mine or um, Esther Hicks. If I don't mention her, if I've mentioned a YouTube that was really good that someone recommended, I'll put that YouTube down below in the description, but right. I'll, I'll mention her if it's relevant, but I will not piggyback off her and I won't piggyback off Rhonda Byrne, the secret, or I won't piggyback off Wayne Dyer. Just, you know, you can't put all these, 
big teachers' names and your description, that just makes you like, like how, how bad would that be if you're in the law of attraction and you're trying to get, that's just bad form. Right. And, and as for, for relating to music, it would be similar to, yes. uh, to me just putting um, Beyonce in there. Yeah. Yeah. Just- just to get people to, to, to come to my page, even though I don't do her music. Yeah. I don't really care for her music. Exactly. I'm talking about, like, if we're doing a Bill Withers song, of course we're going to put, put Bill Withers in there. Exactly. Talking- exactly right. Yeah. I'm not going to just put, like, yeah, like Beyonce or Cher or something, just because I know a lot of people yeah. are searching those. So it's to be similar to you talking mm. about, like, Wayne Dyer content you were talking about his teachings you're talking yeah about his- then you then you give him the credit because you're actually <laughs> mentioning him now Kwana another thing is you might want to put like say you're doing a Lionel Richie song you might want to put the word Motown down in the description um in the keywords sorry right because Motown Lionel Richie was a Motown artist so you go okay I'll put Lionel Richie song and then I'll put Motown because he was known from that label. And that will be people that are into Motown that put Motown as a keyword. You will pop up under the Motown search because you're actually doing a Motown artist's song. So that would make sense in that case. Mm, Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Relatable to exactly what you're doing. Correct. Not putting something else to piggyback. Yeah. They call it clickbait. When you're trying to hook people in, um, like, uh, like the word, the secret, you know? Um, so if you did a YouTube and you called it, um, uh, let me think in your line of work, you know, greatest hits of the seventies and then you only sing one. What you've done is, is you've sold something, but you didn't deliver. So you, you kind of got people to click on your YouTube to get views. But then when they went there, they went, Oh, she's only doing one song, you know? So you've, they call it clickbait where you, you try and capture people through the description, the title, the one line title, but then you don't deliver and you're basically just doing it to get views and then you're just doing it so that Google will pay you every month. So that kind of stuff does happen a lot on YouTube with a lot of different, you know, YouTube artists, but it's bad form. It's again about getting, and you and I know because we do law of attraction stuff. We do the work that we do behind the scenes. It's like when you do that work, no matter what you create, it's like we're, we're trying to have integrity about who we are mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So of course you're going to try and follow that through in your artistic endeavors. Exactly. I agree completely. Yeah. (laughs) I agree. And, um, hello, Michael. (laughs) Agnes. Agnes, how are you doing? Hello, Hello, darling. I'm looking forward to your first fabulous YouTube. I'm actually going to put a link to it down in the description of one of my YouTubes once you're ready because there's lots of people that love good music. So when you're ready, let me know and I will tag that in the description. Thank you so much. I will. We're going to do that today. Yay! Woo! Michael says thank you for your teaching. (laughs) <laughs> I'll give and, you a, I'll give him a kiss on the forehead when I see him. <laughs> yeah, cuz we're going to one day and think for you. Um, but thank you so much. I think that's all the questions I have. Yeah, had. no, that's you know what, Kwana, I think that's enough because if you yeah. do you know, once you get to the point where you've done that and you've done like a dozen, you'll start to have a whole bunch of fresh questions. Yes. So, get good at that first level, you lay that foundation. Then you'll start to see, oh, hang on, how do I get around that problem or how does that work a little bit better? But if you get those three boxes right and you get consistent with doing that a dozen times, you'll start to get the feel of the YouTube platform and then it's basically then you add and get better at fine-tuning other bits and pieces. But I still do. I focus all my energy on those three boxes 
and I focus all my energy on giving, like we talked about, it's not about getting, it's about giving. And that I think is the most important thing of all. So if you can get the three boxes plus how can I serve and how can I give, you know, in time, it will just mushroom. Excellent. And I love what you said about the suggestion about coming up with a little plan of... Yeah, simple plan. Yep. One video will be just be me. Next video will be Michael and me. Next yep. video will be this. Da, 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 da. Yeah. We have an outline so we're not yeah. just... Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, yeah. And you could go through, oh, okay, let's do 70s. Let's do... Um, Let's do, let's do some topics first. Let's do 70s soul. Let's do 80s pop. Let's do whatever genres. And then from that, you can do little subcategories off that. You know, it's like you've got the branch, the, the trunk of the tree is music. Then you've got the, the bigger branches, 70s, 80s, 90s, 60s, whatever. Then off those branches, you've got soul, you've got pop, you've got R&B. So it kind of, the tree just sort of branches out music yeah. is the base yes that that's 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 so clear mm. and um so we can do a video within the youtube once i click on video that's where we actually shoot the video from is within the youtube platform correct only if you want to do it live if you want if you don't want to do it live record it on your phone or your ipad got it okay yeah well, thank you, Agnes. And, and I, if I may have, recap to whoever's watching about why we're doing this. Yeah. A, a lot of people are coming to Agnes's channel about romantic issues and things like that. But I really want to remind you people out there that that is not going to be the answer to, your, to what you think is your problems. So first of all, you don't have problems. You have life situations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah situations that you might have to deal with but that's yeah not yeah and you need to start thinking instead of trying to get a person back and be obsessed with that or whatever yeah thinking about what your calling is about what yeah. you know what kind of legacy you want to leave yeah and, and when you start even thinking about that your energy that you lose throughout the days through dealing with bills and disappointments and all that crap yeah yeah. You're still giving your energy back because it'll start giving you a sense of excitement. So that's why yes. I'm doing this with Agnes to get, um, to, to, to be, and, 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 to, and I'm stepping out a little bit of my comfort zone, not totally because I, I understand YouTube, but this is new for me too. You know, yeah. so I'm encouraged to create a new YouTube channel. Yeah. You want to do something of meaning around something that you already know that you're here to give and YouTube is a wonderful way to do it. So that's why we're doing this today because Agnes is so amazing. And, you know, I just like to see more conversation about how to yep. switch from doing jobs we hate yep. to doing what we love. Absolutely. This is where we sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> And Agnes is amazing. She's, yeah. she's a great help. And you can have access to her. You know, she, <laughs> if, you, if you, you know, reach out to her in a respectful way and if she offers something or just interact with her, she, she will get back with you. And she's someone that is, is right there with us. And her story is inspiring too. What she, the trials and tribulations she went through and how she went from yeah. doing stuff she hated and taking those steps. <laughs> And everyone's path is different. Your path is going to be different than mine. Yeah. But, and it's not easy. It's really, but that's why I'm sitting here today. Yeah. Life can get in the way. You can get tired. All you want to do is go to sleep. Yep. And I told myself, I am not postponing this with Agnes today. I don't yeah. care what yeah. happens. I don't care yeah. if the earthquake, I don't care. We're doing this today. Yeah. And if you do an hour or two a week towards your passion yep. and you make that commitment, I'm going to do something an hour or two a week to move me towards what I want. I mean, I was only doing, I was doing this thing where I was doing three tasks a week. I'd write mm -hmm. a post-it note and I'd write, okay, I'm going to read, I'm going to read something about what I want to do, or I'm going to learn something about how to set up a YouTube channel or I'm going to look at someone else's YouTube to see the people that I think do a good job and why do I think they do a good job. 
So every week I would do three things. I did that for two years and that's what created my YouTube channel is two hours a week, even if you're tired, even if you work full time, you can find two hours a week. Yeah. And it does, so. you will get and your energy back. Yeah. You'll be tired. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yay. Beautiful. Well, excellent, Kwana. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Well, we'll say goodbye to the viewers and then you and I can say bye in private. Bye, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the little skeleton of YouTube today with Kwana and I. <laughs> Thank you, people. Bye, everybody.